Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous Saturday evening here at the end times in paradise on the coast of Mendocino County. I poured my, uh, my first margarita of the night to celebrate the collapse of a planet. So guys, this rant, uh, I guess I'm just out here to see how much shit I can I can stir up with this one uh, for the 50 or 60 people on the planet who are going to watch this rant. So anyway, this is, I don't know what to title this rant, something like an anti-natalist reviews America's Got Talent performance by 12-year-old Grace Vanderwall. Uh, so, I can't play you this video, unfortunately, this five and a half minute total video. Uh, it's a two and a half minute song embedded in a five and a half minute video. So, <clears throat> there's no sense in you listening to this rant unless you have heard the video, and since I don't want a goddamn copyright violation by these motherfuckers at America's Got Talent, uh, I'm just going to put the link on here, and you need to go listen to this video. You need to join the other 37 million people who have uh, already tuned into this video, if you have not already, and then come back to this rant in five and a half minutes. Otherwise, you're wasting your time, and your time would be a lot better spent uh, over there anyway. So, anyway, shut me up, go on the link, come back if you really give a shit, wanting to know what a, a, a surly old eco-Nazi anti-natalist has to say, <laughs> has to say about this video. Well, I sit here and drink this margarita. Oh, man. Okay, welcome back, guys. I'm going to assume that you did what I asked and listened to this video so this rant will make any sense. So anyway, this is my review of that video you just saw. How many? As I say, with 37 million views, we have 472,000 thumbs up and 5,577 thumbs down. So which one of the columns do you think did, did Hambone Little Tail? Uh, did I give that a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Take a while, guess. Uh, if you guessed I gave it a thumbs down, give yourself a thumbs up, uh, but it might surprise you why I gave the video, the video, the five and a half minute video, a thumbs down. For any clueless moron who does not understand how anybody w with a heart uh, could give that uh, could give that video a thumbs down, and I will assume the other five thousand people who gave that a thumbs down. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt that they gave the video a thumbs down for roughly these reasons that I'm getting ready to to uh, to enumerate here. So I, I want to make it clear for the actual what is it two two and a half minutes that this little girl, uh, twelve year old Grace was singing her original song, what was it called, Nobody Knows My Name or something like that. You know, guys, if, uh, if, if I had been walking down the street here, if I had been walking along Highway 1 along the Mendocino County coast and I had come across this little 12-year-old girl with her ukulele singing that song, I would have fallen on 
the sidewalk, okay? I would have fallen down on, on the sidewalk, uh, thanked the whatever version uh, uh, of my God in heaven looks like for sending me this angel. I, I, I would have begged uh, just for, for, the, for the chance to touch the hem of her garment. Okay? Do you get me? This is not a rant about the song or 12-year-old Grace. Uh, but the problem is, I did not hear 12-year-old Grace picking her little ukulele uh, on the side of Highway 1 in Point Arena, California, or on the sidewalk of, I don't know, South Congress Avenue in South Austin, Texas, for instance, where I, I heard this was I, I I'm embarrassed to admit it was on uh, it was on America's Got Talent America's Got America's Got Talent Oh my God uh, and, and 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 I need to thank my buddy uh, uh, what are, what am I going to call my buddy uh, We'll call him Chucky uh, Chucky I can thank Chucky for sending me this video and guys. I want to make it clear when I am when I am uh, whenever I'm talking about my clueless, lovable friends in South Austin, Texas. I am not talking about Chucky. Okay, this guy as as much as anyone. I'm not sure that he simply because he probably hasn't put the time to research it, I'm not sure he understands exactly the level of ecological crisis this planet is in. But this guy is not a clueless moron. And so when I received a video from this guy with two strikes against it from America's Got Talent featuring a 12-year-old girl playing her ukulele. I, I didn't know what to make of it. I, I just, it just did not fit. Uh, it didn't fit, uh, you know, the, the, the very thought of a 12-year-old girl playing a ukulele song on America's Got Talent, I don't know. It, it just hits a, a, a particularly painful ham bone nerve. Uh, you know, kind of like, a, I guess, a, a dentist drilling into my tooth and, and coughing or, or something. Uh, the, 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 the very concept of a 12-year-old child playing her ukulele on, on America's Got Talent is, is absolutely antithetical. Is that the right word? Antithetical to everything I stand for. Uh, if, you wanted to, if you wanted to roll up and, and, and encapsulate in one two and a half minutes episode, to illustrate everything that is wrong, if not on this planet, at least wrong with American culture, it would be a 12-year-old child playing a ukulele on America's Got Talent. So somehow, I managed to survive this video. I don't, I don't know how I did it. It, it, it was tough uh, as I as I emailed uh, Chucky back, you know, what am I supposed to do here? Am, am I supposed to, am I supposed to laugh, cry, cheer, or puke? Because all four of these conflicted emotions came, came bubbling up during this. Uh, and... Anyway, if you just watch the video, again, if you have not watched the video, it's, it's not the song. 
I am I am uh, absolutely amazed on one level, but uh, way beyond my level of my uh, of my amazement is, is the absolute just existential horror I felt watching this 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 little lamb being led into the slaughterhouse of America's Got Talent. The, 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 the very thought of this little girl uh, being thrust in, into the, the very throat of the tiger. Uh, it, everything that uh, Terrence McKenna, uh, Chris Hedges, uh, Graham Hancock, uh, all of my Humpty Dumpty Tribe heroes, when they're talking, and who else, Morris Berman, I'm sure he would agree with me on this, and whenever these, these guys, my, my Humpty Dumpty Tribe heroes, are talking about the, the decline and fall of the American empire, there is no better poster child than America's Got Talent. And, and to see one of these, the, the, the slimy, uh, this guy, I have no clue uh, who, these, who these little no-talent fucktards, uh, the, these judges, these judges uh, uh, of, of this little girl sitting there holding holding her in their judgment. Uh, I, I have no idea who any one uh, 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 of these no-count little pipsqueaks are. And, and the most odious one of the bunch who looks like a carbon copy uh, of one of my arch enemies Living in South Austin, Texas, uh, I don't. I don't need to mention his name because uh, I don't want to vomit and I don't want a lawsuit. But it's just. It, it was like one of the creepiest fuckers that I know on this planet had, had suddenly shown up on this, and he, and he reaches over there and and hits something called a golden buzzer, a golden buzzer and in all of this little uh, this little this is probably Chuck calling me now uh, in, in all of this golden confetti falling all over this little girl and 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 and, and these in and, and, and these fucking little no talent uh, whoever they were uh, who did not deserve to be in the same room with this little girl. I, I mean, they were so outclassed. I don't give a fuck who they are. I don't know who they are. I don't give a fuck who, the, who these little fuckwads are. For, for them to be sitting there uh, passing judgment uh, on, on, on this little angel uh, and, 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 and hitting their fucking little golden buzzer and, and having all of this little, conf this golden confetti falling all over this little girl. You know, I, I mean, all I could think of is, uh, I, I need to do a rant sometime about the, the, the time that I spent in working at a chicken slaughterhouse, at a poultry processing house. Uh, I don't think I've ever done that rant, but that was the image that came to me, was, uh, was the, this uh, little chicken going, going in and this, uh, and, and, and this, th this carcass, uh, th this naked gutted carcass coming out uh, the other side. Uh, my God, j j just thinking of the absolute horror that this little girl and, and her whole family 
are, are going through starting, uh, you, you know, with, with, with these little slime bags. The slimiest one of all, whoever this little fuck was, in his little golden tuxedo, uh, going up to this girl, uh, asking her, if, can I get a hug? Can I get a hug? She should have spit in his fucking face. She should have kicked him in the balls. Fucking slime bag. You know, 37 million views. Can you imagine uh, uh, all these goddamn uh, greedy fucking music executives uh, falling all over themselves to get their paws uh, on this little girl and, 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 and what's going to happen to her over the next few years. The, the absolute horror uh, that that this little girl is is, is going to experience, you know, it, it, it truly, it truly makes me want to puke. You know, I, I can't believe that fucking Donald Trump uh, hasn't already put this little girl up there. You, you know, uh, I should have at least showed you a picture. Well, you've seen the picture already. You know, she looks kind of like a cross between, uh, I don't know, John Benet Ramsey and Alanis Morissette. Uh, probably, uh, and, and, and that's probably what her future holds. You know, this, the, that line, that, uh, that old Joni Mitchell line, um, about the star maker machinery behind the popular songs, how the how these fucking little greedy goddamn corporate record executives are pissing in their pants to get their fucking meat cleavers in, in, into this little girl. You know, and, and you wonder why I'm an anti-natalist. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. The, the, the living hell, uh, my guess is by age 14, the, this little girl is, is going to be a heroin addict. Um, if she's not like, if she's not following in the, in, in the footsteps of Janis Joplin choking on her own fucking vomit from a heroin overdose, sitting alone in her hotel room on a Saturday night, uh, by the time she's 27, uh, I'll, I'll be pretty amazed. That's her future, choking on her damn vomit. And, you know, and, and all of these... In, in, in the in these fucking little whoever they were uh, from America's Got Talent, how many times did, were they already telling this little twelve-year-old girl that she was going to be the new Taylor Swift? I don't know who the fuck Taylor Swift is. I keep seeing her name everywhere. Uh, my my guess. Is, is this little girl, Grace Vonderwall, has more talent in her little toenail than, uh, than, than goddamn uh, uh, Taylor Swift has in, in, has in her whole damn body. It's just a wild guess. I don't know Taylor, I don't know Taylor Swift. Uh, Jesus. Just the, 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 you know, you don't have to be Nostradamus to figure out this, this, uh, this little girl's future. Her life has just been destroyed. we sitting there watching a, a beautiful, talented little girl being fed to the wolves. It, it, it's like ancient Rome all over again. Why don't we just throw her in, in the fucking Colosseum with the lions and, and, and let the lions uh, d d just rip her to shreds and put her out uh, uh, of her own goddamn misery where she's going to be soon enough. The new Taylor Swift.
Like, 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 that is some fucking, like, that's some fucking, uh, goal in your life. <sighs> Taylor Swift wishes, wishes she could, uh, could be the new Grace Vonderwall. I, I can already hear the, the CD, you know, with the, the goddamn strings section behind this little girl. You know, and and then of course there's just the 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 whole larger backdrop to this story is what the Grace Vonderwall and every twelve year old on this planet has coming in their lives, whether or not they got the fucking golden buzzer on America's Got Talent. Yeah. I want to talk to Grace Vanderwall in about 50 fucking years. I want to hear what she's singing about then. These goddamn clueless fucking breeders, you know. You're, you're, you're a bunch of goddamn criminals, is what you are. You're, you're every bit as guilty as these fucking predators on America's Got Talent. And you make me fucking sick. Anyway, I gotta go find my little dog. I have a suspicion that fucking little dog is out chasing chickens. Bye, guys.